loaded up the truck left went to tennessee where our load was and the post office was closed So we just got to the Pine Fallen J. We are still on our way to Amazon and whatnot. And you know, we're on our way to Tennessee. After Tennessee, then we're gonna go to Alabama. So let's go. All right. So Amazon load number one. There's a whole lot of shit that you gotta do in order to get your stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm a rookie. So had to find where the driver entrance is. And then um, I know I used to work at Amazon, but I forgot how physical it was. It's not that even that, it's less physical than FedEx for sure, but more physical than your drop and hook type of deal. So yeah, we're trying to get checked out. Hopefully we're not late. <laughs> Cause a whole lot of shit going on. All right, bye. All right, so we are here at our second stop and y'all we cannot drop it because the post office is closed wonderful we had two stops tonight one to tennessee and another one to alabama and both post offices were closed talk about getting here and being tired and can't drop none of the loads so we're here just here on hold with my hair shit. I'm out here on the phone waiting for the ROC to give us the go ahead like hey yeah we could go back to ATL 6 and drop the stuff because there's no point of being here in Alabama not dropping off nothing. Let me update you right quick. So recap went to atl6 to pick up our stuff this is my first time badges wasn't ready i already sent the email for us to get the badges and stuff they weren't ready so i didn't use the vendor pass so got there loaded up the truck left went to tennessee where our load was and the post office was closed and the way that the app was working i had put yard closed Maybe I did something wrong, let me know in the comments. But I had did yard closed because it was not available for us to open, for us to drop anything. So anyway, um, couldn't do that. Contacted Amazon multiple times. You know, they're pretty quick with getting back to us, so I ain't even gonna front on that one. But um, also as well, the post office was closed, so we just went ahead to the next post office and that one was closed as well so communicating again with support and whatnot is was just like okay this is a little annoying but hey it is what it is so hopefully they did say that they was going to um reimburse us for the time that we spent being on the road with gas and all that so we're gonna see what that ends up but um side note it's crazy see so i have my authority and i am at truck stops and i never realized how exciting trucking could be and i'm seeing a different side of it i knew it from you know delivering via fedex and whatnot and also doing logistics on the inside but seeing this from a different perspective being on the road um i like it i really do like it and it's just really interesting how i just seen how this journey is unfolding like yo we got the truck on wednesday we got the truck on wednesday today's friday now all the days run into each other so anyway back to the story both loads that we were supposed to deliver to tennessee and alabama has to go back to atl6 that we're at the truck stop i'm tired it's like i don't know four what is it four or six in the morning yeah I'm tired. I'm sleepy. And to think I was gonna book loads after this. This is my first Amazon experience. 
So, anyway, to deal with these post office stuff, y'all, because this was a lot, but it was, it's understandable shit happens, you know? But if I could avoid anything regarding post office and post office closures, let me know. So, you know, it could just work better to be more efficient and all of that. So, but yeah stretch my legs here at the truck stop oh let me show y'all the truck stop though let me let me show y'all a little farm here they out here it's just so inspiring you got you know your flatbed you know what i'm saying you got your power only you know what i'm saying you got ups out in this building you know what i'm saying so it's just like i ain't gonna record you sir home really good just to see people out here grinding y'all people out here grinding 24 7 but trucking doesn't stop at all y'all this shit crazy but i like it you know because i really do sometimes miss you know the physical and just you know the aspect of just being in the truck you know but hey anyway this journey is about that let's see what the day holds once we get back to atl6 and what happens then <laughs> just got done with our first amazon load and what time is it almost 10 a.m that we got done with this first amazon load mind you this was supposed to be completed at two in the morning but because of post offices and not being open at two in the morning and not being staffed that during those times we have to bring the load back so yeah this is i don't i don't know it's good to have when you're you know when you're just getting started for one and two the convenience of it because you could do a load depending on your area and whatnot the, one, the loads that come out of lena it's really it's a lot and you can definitely wrap up loads and whatnot so so yeah, I gotta think about this one. So this is just concluded, really. The first Amazon relay run. Were we happy about it? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Pretty trash. <laughs> you know. But as a new authority, you gotta get rolling some way, somehow, right? So this is just what comes with the territory. If you're thinking about doing Amazon relay, definitely anticipate. Um, these post offices not being open at two, three, four in the morning. Um, associate said that usually they're open at five in the morning, but really and truly, I don't see too many loads that come out. Again, I'm still a new authority, so I, things could change and I could see different loads as time goes along. But as of right now, that load took forever from 9 p.m. yesterday to 10 p.m. today. Like, it's crazy. So yeah, that is, how the first load went with Amazon Relay as 